We are multiplying and dividing rational expressions. The other one we just did yesterday was simplifying rational expressions. Now we're going to have two expressions and we're going to have to multiply or divide. So we're going to have to distribute 7p squared right there. When we distribute, we multiply. So 7p cubed. minus 14p squared. There's nothing we can do about the denominator, 4p plus 3. I wish we could simplify anything, but at this point there's nothing we can't do, so that's all we, that's all we had to do. Now, when we have a division here, when you divide, it's the same thing as you multiply by the reciprocal. Reciprocal means you turn that thing upside down. So if you have 3x squared y, you're going to do it 1 over 3x squared y. You're like, what? So the first one doesn't change anything, but you multiply by the reciprocal, so it's 1 over 3x squared y. Now we can simplify. Think about this multiplication bar as being the whole fraction bar right there all the way across. So and when you're dividing, you're subtracting the exponents. So x divided by x squared, you're going to subtract the exponents, but since your answer cannot be in negative exponent form, this one will end up in the bottom, in the denominator. So you have 4 because you multiply these guys, and you multiply this guy, so 27x, because I simplified these two, and I'm going to have to add the exponents there because I'm multiplying. When you multiply, you add the exponents, so y cubed. This is, when you divide, is the same thing as you multiply by the reciprocal. Same thing is good for this guy. So I copy the first one. And you multiply by the reciprocal. I'm going to factor this out because I know you're tempted just to cancel these two out, but you can't because this one is one term itself, so you can't cancel them out. So GCF right there is 5, and you know you're going to have to divide 25x by the GCF. So 5x plus 5 divided by the GCF, 1 over 3x. So this is my factored form of this term right here, times 1 over 5. Now you can simplify this 5 with this 5, leaving you with 5x plus 1 as your numerator and 3x for your denominator. So let's factor this. I like to put parentheses around it so as I don't get lost. R plus 4. Find the greatest common factor here. And because I know I'm multiplying, I can just do the multiplication right there. Greatest common factor. I know I'm going to have to divide both and put that in parentheses. 15R squared divided by the greatest common factor minus 20r divided by the greatest common factor. Factor this out, greatest common factor. Divide 15r squared by greatest common factor.
All right. And you know I could have just done one right here. So that's why this goes for everybody. So simplify those. I know you want to simplify that, but you can't. You can only simplify if they're exactly the same. If this one is a minus, this one is a plus, that means you can't do anything about that. So the leftover is going to be your final answer. last one. I think at this point you get the idea. So we're going to factor this out and multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to factor this out. I know there's a GCF right here, which is x squared. I'm dividing all these guys by the GCF. I cannot simplify this term right here in the denominator. This division sign means I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to turn that upside down. This term is going to end up on my denominator and I'm going to factor that at the same time. So GCF between these two is x squared divide. I'm dividing x cubed by the GCF and put that right there. 7x squared divide by the GCF and put it right there. Now that it's all multiplication, I can simplify what I can. These two simplify. These two simplify. I don't know if I can simplify these two yet because this one is not factored out all the way. So here I go. Factor this out mentally. Oh, look at that. Now I can simplify these guys and I have only x plus 1 left over. So x plus 1 is my final answer. This one is I excel in five.